I was not anticipating having to make a third video for today. But we got this bomb on TSN from Rick Dollywall. Let's look at the tweet. Matt Sakara says on air, I'm told the Vancouver Canucks are exploring the possibility of trading Brock Besser. Okay, okay, okay. Vancouver Canucks fans are really... Let's just say they're really displeased to hear that. But a lot of Canucks fans who are taking a look at the Vancouver Canucks and their overall situation, the context behind the team, they look at this and they say, you know what? I don't like it, but I can understand why the option is being explored. Now, if you're not on Twitter, you would not have seen the big, big meltdown over the past few days revolving around the Vancouver Canucks and its salary cap situations. Now that there is indeed a flat cap, the Vancouver Canucks are kind of in a really bad spot. This discussion has been brought up several times over the past few days, and it was highlighted even more further today because of an article published by Thomas Drance in The Athletic. You may have seen Clay Emu's video. He talked about this exact same thing earlier today, the Vancouver Canucks, their cap situation, and just how crammed up everything can be. Well, if you want to free up cap space... And if the league is not going to give you the necessary tools to help you do that in the form of compliance buyouts and other external factor processes, then the team would need to find out other ways to free up that cap space. But at the same time, the argument goes, you know, what exactly are teams going to be willing to give up for Louis Erickson or Sutter or Beagle? What are these guys to other teams? They're just dead weight on the money side of things. With a flat cap coming up in the future, there's no incentive for any team to take on these players. Even some of the teams with cap space, like Detroit, like Ottawa, like Montreal, these teams are going to be much more reluctant now to take on salary because it's a flat cap world. You don't know what's going to happen with your team a year from now or in two years from now and whether or not that money is going to be better well spent with a young guy or a nice player other than a Jay Beagle, you know? So, to me, when you take a look at the possibility of a Brock Besser trade... To me, he is a sweetener in a deal that would allow the Vancouver Canucks to make a trade to better their cap situation. Not because Besser himself has a bad cap situation. No, that guy is probably a much better player than the money he is getting paid. And in the long term, we don't know for sure, but we could honestly see Jim Benning getting himself a contract for Besser that does not look too bad. But this right here looks to be a potential move that would only be done or considered from the Vancouver Canucks point of view because, hey, we need to free up money. We need to trade away Sutter. We need to trade away Erickson. And the only way we're going to be able to do that now is if we have a really good sweetener in the deal. But we will have a lot more as this story develops. This is just a very quick impromptu video that I made because I am so shocked to hear that the Vancouver Canucks would be willing to try to do that. Now, I mean, of course, maybe I shouldn't be too surprised because if you're an NHL team, you're always looking at every possibility to try to make your team better. But the fact that this news has leaked in Vancouver is noteworthy because... You're not going to have too many other cities who can find ways to roast their team like the Vancouver Canucks fanbase can, especially on the guise of a Brock Besser trade. Oh man, maybe if they trade Elias Pettersson too, they can also get a Jack Eichel. If you know what that's referring to, then I applaud you so. Let's talk in the comments below about Brock Besser and a potential trade, but for now I gotta go. I hope you enjoyed this video, so that's 99, and bye.